Well, if you know that I'm painting my truck, you should also know that it's got some body damage. I'm using Bondo. It's an automotive body filler. All you do is mix about three inches by a half inch circle of body filler with a three inch line of cream hardener. And then you just mix it till it's the same color and draw, uh, move quickly because this thing dries, in, like I said, three, four minutes. So these two corners had been damaged from a winch but this stuff dried in three minutes. So you can actually see what it's supposed to come out looking like. So put it on, even if it looks kind of rough, you're gonna sand it with an 80 grit paper and then like a 120 or 160 grit, uh, grit after that. So let's see how it comes out after a little sanding. So the Bondo has been dry for about 45 minutes now, and I have sanded it with an 80 grit and a 160 grit. So you can see that there are a couple of more spots that I will uh, fill in with more Bondo after I've had a chance to wash this. Uh, by wash it, I mean just dry it off with a compressor. I'm gonna do a second round of Bondo body fill. Blue stuff is the hardener. You will notice though, it is much more uniform. And when I get up to get the compressor, I will also get my uh, multi-tool and cut out the excess in the uh, area there. I'm going to go ahead and actually use this uh, primer, Automotive Filler and Sander 2-in-1 from rust -Oleum. Hit the areas uh, where the Bondo is so that it uh, kind of closes up the first layer of Bondo. And we'll give that a half an hour to dry. I'm going to go sand again. If I was doing work on a, another passenger vehicle that had a clear coat, I'd probably be using a 320 uh, as the last sandpaper. This vehicle obviously doesn't have that type of clear coat finish, so it doesn't really need any more than a 220. In fact, what you're seeing right now on the underside is a, a 120, which is plenty just to get that whole under area to look more uniform. So here it is with uh, scraping, sanding, priming, and it comes out looking very smooth and uniform compared to the other side of the truck. No noticeable differences between that and this side of the Humvee. So with that, I'm going to use this rattle can spray from Quarter Ton Military. This is the same paint that's going to be in the spray gun in a moment, but I hit this entire front grill with one can and it came out looking really nice, very much matches the original paint that's on the vehicle. And it's the same color, 33446, that is in the uh, sprayer, which I used with my uh, HVLP and my compressor. And I have not included much on it because the painting of this vehicle is a whole separate video that you can go on and watch, as well as other projects that made this vehicle look awesome at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and follow The Motley Guy for more videos 
and more on this project because it was an absolute blast.